Who are we speaking on behalf of? Dogs and cats. Dogs and cats, exactly. The Michigan Humane Society, right? They're our clients, and we're going to do some. We're doing something very helpful for them. We learned all about how to care for animals. I really enjoyed like um like I'm um, learning about like all the different subjects and all the things about all kinds of pets and stuff. Well, I liked it how like we actually got to learn more about like how to take care of animals and like different species. And so like one of the things I didn't know was that you're supposed to pet a dog from the top of their head to the uh, like and then bottom to the back. I think the important thing that I learned is that do not feed your animals like bad stuff. I would like to teach lots of people and some people in my family that always make sure you spend lots of time with your pets. Well, one thing is like not to neglect your dog because uh, it could probably hurt them in a way. And it, like it would feel to them like they're being bullied. I think it would probably be between spay and neuter and don't abandon. Are we getting, we're telling people that they should spay and neuter or that they should not? They should spay and neuter. And why is that? What happens? Dad? You'll have too much puppies and kids. If, if you don't spay and neuter, right? We hadn't neutered our dog yet, you know, oh. and so we oh. have now since this I class, bet. you know, because he's been on it like a dog I... on a bone. He's just been like, we need to get him neutered. And so he's like, you know, if you neuter him, that's going to calm him down quite a bit. So, so we're just great. like, oh God, we are, you know, neuter this dog so this kid will get off my back. You know, so yeah, it's, he's, it's part of his vocabulary now. Dog finding is cruel and not cool. It was respect, don't neglect. Spay and neuter. So you mean you found a picture and then you just kind of did your own yeah, thing with it? Yeah, I played with it. You played with it? Uh huh. Uh, one of them was don't leave your pets in cages. Don't leave your pets in Every Monday it was like they stayed at 5 o'clock and they'd run to football practice, you know, on Tuesdays they have music lessons and dance and so there's something every day. So when he signed up for this and I was like, you realize you have to stay every Monday until 5 o'clock and he was like, it's okay. Probably halfway through, he says to me, um, Mom, he's like, I'm just so glad I'm, I joined that. I'm so glad I'm part of that group. You know, he just loved it every single day. 